South Louisiana is a place unlike almost anywhere else on earth. Endless maze of beautiful grasslands and coastal wetlands. I hope that it's strong enough to survive this. Venice, Louisiana is affectionately called the end of the road and sometimes the end of the world. Venice is one of the places where you're really starting to see the impacts of what's going on with this oil spill. A lot of these people, all they've ever known was being an oysterman or being an offshore fisherman or being a commercial fisherman or harvesting shrimp from the marsh. Coastal Louisiana's wetlands were built over roughly a 6,000 year period. In 1927, there was a huge flood in the Mississippi River area and valley. and caused a massive devastation to homes and property. At that point, it was decided that the levees needed to be built to uh, provide flood protection uh, for all these communities up and down the river. Downside of those changes on the Mississippi River were that effectively the sediment supply, the lifeline for these coastal wetlands, was severed. When you look at the wetlands in relation to migratory birds and the habitat it provides, it really gives you an idea of how connected this landscape is. Louisiana's wetlands serve as wintering or stopover grounds for roughly 10 million migrating birds and waterfowl every year. 90% of the animals that live in the Gulf of Mexico spend some part of their life cycle in these coastal estuaries. Some of the best times I had growing up were out in the marsh, running around with my dad, uh, trying to find fish. The effects of this oil spill are not yet fully realized and it's something that I fear will have significant long-term effects. 